What's going on guys? This is Mac for B4IB. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about uh, my first Kickstarter project that I backed or supported. And I've always been skeptical about Kickstarter and I've never really been a huge fan of what kind of comes out of it. I know there are a lot of projects that are amazing and they just turn out to be really great. And then there's certain projects out there that just kind of fall flat in the face. This project, I was a little hesitant. I was a little skeptical. It did take forever for me to get the product. I just got to point that out there. And it wasn't the smoothest experience ever, but um, I finally got the product and it's finally here. And I want to do a quick unboxing of it. And um, yeah, let's just check it out. Boom. All right. Um, if you guys haven't guessed what this is yet, um, this is a lens for my camera so if you guys are into camera gear and photography videography um, that kind of stuff uh, I might want to stick around this is a pretty interesting product I did do a video on a really cheap camera the Canon's EOS M which was like the first mirrorless Canon camera I think I did a video you can check it out over here if you're interested in getting into the camera game it's a perfect little setup there. Anyways, now on to this. This is from Lamography. Now, these guys make vintage style lenses. Nice packaging. Weird. Comes in this cheap plastic. And then this is the box itself. Look at this. Pretty cool. Now this comes in three different types of material. So it comes in brass, which is the one I originally wanted, but, and then there's a brass that's black, which was actually, that was the one I wanted because the black would fade eventually. And then you start to see a little bit of the brass, which gives it this really nice, cool, pretty hipster look. I don't know what to say. And then I have the aluminum version of it, which is the cheapest one, I believe. I got it for 300 bucks. I don't know what they're selling this for at retail. I'm guessing it's gonna cost more. That's usually how these Kickstarter campaigns work. Lure you in because they say, hey guys, look, it's so cheap when you buy it right now. You won't get it right now, but you'll get it for a really cheap price. And then once it's out and it's a successful product, guess what? You missed out on a huge discount. So impulse buy. And then you got um, three choices of mounts. You have the Canon EF mount, Nikon F mount, and Pentax K mount. I'm a Canon user, so obviously I got the Canon one. It has this little ribbon thing here. I don't know what this... Whoa! Okay, guys, that's pretty cool. It comes with this little art book. So it comes with this nice little art book. I got good reflexes. Don't doubt me. It comes with this cool little art book. Um, I guess it's shots of people using this lens, taking shots all over the world for street photography. And that's the main reason why I bought this. I wasn't going to use this for video or anything like that. Although, that'd be cool. I want to see what it looks like on video. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I like that. I like little novelty items. Um, it just, It's just cool. I appreciate that. And it's printed really high quality. Nice. You have a certificate of quality and two year warranty registry. You got this tiny little manual. Who needs manuals, right? And now for the final part, the lens itself. And that is the lens. It has this nice little lens cap. Right, right away, right off the bat, I have to say there's some nice heft to it. it looks like it's built pretty well. Um, the aluminum looks pretty matte and it looks cool. looks like a good, good look. This lens cap right away, I can tell it just looks so cool. It is metal. I believe it's aluminum too. Um, it has a little, it has a little decal of the globe, I guess. Pretty cool. I guess that's their logo and it just comes off like that. For all the ASMR people out there, <laughs> 35 millimeter f 2.5. So not the fastest lens that I have. The lens that I'm using right now is the Tokina um, 11 to 22. And so the 50 millimeter I have right here on this Viltrox Speed Booster 
gets down to f1.8 but because of the speed booster i can get this down to one f1.2 and then my sigma 18 to 35 probably the lens i use the most uh, besides this tokina but for photography i mostly use this this one gets down to f1.8 so we'll see how well in low light this performs because i do a lot of low light photography i like street photography i usually like to sh shoot at night um I'm just more comfortable that way. It's a little more challenging. I'm very much still a beginner. I think this lens is just going to help me try to get more creative with my shots, things like that. That's the main reason why I bought it. Also, what's so cool about this lens is this aperture ring portion right here, this guy. So you, it's a little dial that lets you adjust the aperture on the fly. It just has this nice, like right away, this disc. I hope you guys can hear that. That feels good. I wonder how it's going to manage like dust right there. Um, you can see the mounting system it uses a Canon EF mount. There are no pins. Um, so I guess it's not going to be able to transfer any of that um, data over. It says it's handcrafted in central China. So this is made in China. Um, okay, here's what I'll say. Like first impressions holding this device for $300. It is built pretty well. Lenses can get pretty expensive, but there are a lot of cheap, inexpensive lenses out there that can do such a good job, such as this Canon 50 millimeter. That's why they call it the Nifty 50. Very affordable, and it's a pretty decent beginner lens when it comes to primes. Uh, as far as the way it looks, uh, that giant Lemogon logo, uh, not, not the biggest fan. But yeah, so let me test it out real quick and then um, in the future I'll do a full video on this guy. All right guys, and we're back. And if you can't notice, um, it's zoomed in tremendously. And that's because this is a 35 millimeter lens. Sorry, I keep saying 35, it's 32 f2.5. On my Canon M50, I'm using the adapter. And keep in mind, the M50 is, a, is an APS-C um sensor camera so that basically means it's gonna crop the frame by 1.6 times but here's one really cool thing i want to show you guys i told you guys about the aperture ring and how you could just adjust the aperture on the fly um most of the time you would do it through your camera there would be a separate function or there would be a button this has a whole ring on the side and you can literally see that is so satisfying um I'm just worried about the dust and like the longevity. Um, but yeah, so that's what it looks like. And let's swap out real quick and let me give you guys my final thoughts of my first impression. All right, and we're back. So first impressions, I like this thing. Um, I have to say the build quality is really nice. Even though this is just the aluminum version, I can imagine that the brass version is gonna be even cooler than this. Like I said, the only the biggest concern I have is the longevity of dust getting in there, what they're gonna do about that. What do you guys think? Do you think that this lens is worth it? Uh, personally, I think this is more of a niche product. If you're like a real serious street photographer, you wanna get a distinct look. Um, like I said, I'm gonna have to test it out and only then I can really say whether or not this product is worth it. But for me, um, right now, just like on first impressions, I wouldn't say that this lens is for everyone. Definitely not for beginners because this is a full manual lens. This is not probably the lens I would recommend you would get for your first lens. I, If you have a DSLR, a full frame camera, then this would make more sense. If you have a crop size sensor or an APS-C sensor like my Canon M50, maybe this isn't the first choice. But because I wanted to test it out and see, maybe it'll work with the... Uh, um, Viltrox speed booster and that'd be crazy, right? So I'm gonna have to do some testing, get some shots on this guy, see how well it performs out in the streets. And yeah, it does look pretty cool, I have to say. Um, it is pretty fancy, a very hipster looking lens and pretty sick though. Uh, cool little lens here. If you guys are interested, check out the Kickstarter campaign. This is not supported. They did not send this to me. I bought this with my own money and it took forever. Just be warned, by the way, I remember in the first part of this video, I said it took forever. I literally bought this last year, or I think I pledged around November 2018, and I just got it. Um, they were they started shipping it out late last year, around November, December, something like that. 
Um, but then I still didn't receive my lens and I emailed them. I sent a message to the support team and then they were just like, oh, just wait a little bit longer. You'll get it. After a month, I still did not receive my lens. And then I got an, sent out another message and I spoke to somebody else. And that person told me, well, did you pay for the shipping tax or something like that? I was like, what are you talking about? I never got that email about some shipping tax I had to pay for. And plus, I wasn't aware that I had to pay for some shipping tax, whatever. It was fine. Eventually, that guy sent me a link, paid for it, and I got it after so long. So, yeah, just a little bit of miscommunication over there on their end. It was weird. Um, I don't know. I'm just happy to have the product, and it's a real product. Um, it could have been so much worse. What do you guys think? Do you guys think that this is a cool product? And if so, let me know down below if you guys have ever pledged to Kickstarter. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. My name is Mac for B4YB. I hope you guys enjoy this video, and I'll be doing a follow-up video on this. So if you guys want to see that, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. Hit that bell icon down below so you know when I upload a video. Um, and the next video is probably most likely going to be about this. So if you guys want to see that, uh, stay tuned. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video.